high earth signs, that would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Welcome. This is just a little mini read. It's not my mid month or first of the month. It's just a little mini read to see where everybody's at. Um, so let's get started and we're going to start with Capricorn. Um, so what's currently on Capricorn's mind? What is Capricorn currently thinking about? What is currently on Capricorn's mind? All right, so I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, so you're thinking about gossip. You're thinking about love, disappointment in love, breakups. Um, could be like stalking behavior, somebody stalking you or you stalking somebody else. Um, you're thinking about bad news. You're thinking about being withdrawn from society. You're thinking about a charmer, somebody who's gullible. You're thinking about um, sexual abuse. You're thinking about being emotionally vulnerable. It, 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 there's a lot of tears here. There's letting yourself go here. And that's what you're currently thinking about. You're thinking about letting yourself go. What does Capricorn not want to think about? 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 The Three of Wands. So you don't want to think about travel. You don't want to think about um, turning your back on the past. You don't want to think about um, taking action on decisions. You don't want to think about relationships or adventure. You don't want to be ambitious right now. What's presently affecting, and this is Aries energy, and the Page of Cups is any water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So presently, there could be a Sagittarius in your life where it's just bringing in that energy of Sagittarius and the negative. Uh, this is temperance in the reverse, so there's inappropriate behavior, there's imbalances, there's poor timing, there's not learning lessons, there's being overindulgent, excessive behavior, there's instigating fights here, there's resisting moving on, and uh, there's a need for counseling here. And this is um, very to the point in your speech, being kind of tactless, uh, searching, being good humor, but being unreliable. So you're being unreliable, idealistic, taking risks. So you're being a risk taker and you're stuck in the past. It's all about being stuck in the past here. There's a past passion, a past flame, past uh, past relationship that you're stuck on. So when the past is affecting Capricorn's future. So I have the Nine of Cups. So it could have been a Pisces. Um, or just bringing in that Pisces energy. And this is um, the wish card, which is fulfilled. Hosting a party, showing off, happiness. It could also be drinking, going out to bars, um, a lot of socialization. It's a very sensitive, um, nostalgic energy, sentimental, um, very daydreamy, a lot of daydreaming, escaping by fantasy. What else in the past is affecting Capricorn's present? What else in the past is affecting Capricorn's present? So I have the Knight of Wands here, so it may have been a Leo as well. And this is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So this is somebody who's reckless, out of control, who moves too fast, who rushes things. Um, he's over the top, he loves to show off, which goes back to the Nine of Cups, who also is a show off. So there's a lot of showing off in the past. Um, there's uh, being violent, rebellious, being a womanizer, a bully, a tyrant, throwing tantrum tans, tantrums. Yet you're not finishing what you start here. Um, all part, all partying and partying too hard in the past. Uh, there's a lot of jealousy here. Um, 
this is a time to start planning for the future instead of fooling around your fingers in too many pies with this card. Being very theatrical. What in the future? What's going to happen for Capricorn in the future? What's going to happen for Capricorn in the future? Right, so I have the Three of Cups, so there's friendships, there's celebrations, um, there's community parties, emotional growth. This is the card of Cancer, uh, so that's a water energy that's being very uh, romantic, sensitive, sympathetic, domestic. Um, still, again, you're tied to the past. Still, again, there's memories, nostalgia. Uh, home loving. There's being manipulative here. There's manipulation there. What else is going to happen for Capricorn in the future, in the near future? And so the Knight of Pentacles, so we're back in your energy. In the Knight of Pentacles, um, it's a time to put plans into action. There's no fast way out, so keep focused. Uh, building your empire. Don't take foolish risks. Don't work yourself to the bone. Get rest. Think green. Um, commit to something and stick with it. Um, breathe, he breathes live life into plans. He makes things happen. He's ambitious. So he's a hard worker. He's devilishly handsome. He's dark and brooding and strong. Um, he's authentic. He's friendly. He's conscientious. He's diligent. He takes responsibility, sees things through, he's reliable and loyal, he works tirelessly, he dresses conservative, classics, he loves classics, he's predictable and consistent, he's naturally protective, he's self-assured, um, he lives a healthy lifestyle, he eats organic foods, he loves animals, he recycles, he gardens. He's a master of do-it-yourself projects. He moves slowly, he's, um, but steadily. He's sensible, down-to-earth, patient. He's emotionally mature. He's the card of Taurus. He can be very stubborn, slow, steady, he hates change. He's there because of the Five of Swords. Um, so there's conflict here, there's stress, there's strong competition, there's chaos, commotion, fighting to be heard, a lack of teamwork, things are getting out of hand, um, there's betrayal, smugness, gloating. Why is the three, three of Cups? So the Three of Cups is there because of the Page of Cups reversed. So the Three of the Three of Cups is there because of gossip, breakups, stalking behavior. So the Page of Cups came out twice. So somebody's stalking somebody here. There's definitely some stalking behavior. It's a breakup. Uh, and it's somebody from the past that you're just stuck on. Could possibly be a Pisces. Well, thank you, Capricorn. Have a wonderful day. All right, now we're going to do Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. This is just a little something extra it's not like your big ones on uh, the first and the 15th so what is on Taurus's mind what is on Taurus's mind currently what is on Taurus's mind what is on Taurus's mind, what is on mind? okay so I have the ton of swords in the upright so currently there's a complete mental breakdown you feel backstabbed um, there's a crisis, there's a severe conflict, there's abuse, there's attack, there's gossip, there's hitting rock bottom. This is the card of Gemini. Um, 
so there's a lot of communication there's a lot of action there's a lot of change going on there's a lot of movement there's a completion here something's ending what does Taurus not want to think about? What does Taurus not want to think about? Okay, so you don't want to think about the Three of Wands. You don't want to think about turning your back on the past. You, you, you don't want to think about looking for towards the future. You don't want to think about relationships. You don't want to think about adventure. What is presently affecting Taurus? What is presently affecting Taurus? What is presently affecting Taurus? Okay, presently there could be a Cancer uh, person, someone who was born between June 21st and July 22nd. I have the Queen of Cups and I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So the Queen of Cups is emotional loving she's happy she's sensitive she's caring she's a healer she's beautiful she's a natural born empath um she's follows her heart she goes with the flow she learns to listen she meditates she daydreams um she likes to take trips to water uh she's she develops her psychic abilities she opens her heart to love. She's a peacemaker. She's highly artistic, imaginative, and creative. She totally absorbed with her creation. She seems otherworldly at times. She detaches from reality at will. She's mature enough to be practical and live in the real world. She's intuitive, psychic, spiritual. Um, she's kind. She's caring. In relationships, she's loyal, loving, devoted. She has strong family values. In career, she has many options, and she needs a creative outlet. As a mother, she's warm, affectionate, and loving. And then the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is about debt, being very selfish. There's one-sided charity here. And that's what's causing the conflict. There's somebody in the relationship that's very loving and kind. And there's somebody who's very selfish. And who takes, takes, takes. There's a taker and there's a giver here. Alright, so when the past is affecting Taurus's present. When the past is affecting... Okay. So I have the Eight of Swords and I have the King of Rods. Okay, and the King of Rods is deep, is deep past, and then the Eight of Swords is like nearer past. So the King of Rods would also be the King of Wands, and he's a natural born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's Sagittarius. He's powerful, dynamic, dependable. He's energetic. He's a go-getter. He takes control of his life. He thinks big. Um, he comes up with. He comes. He goes with. Comes up with new ideas. Um, he's respected in his community. He offers. He offers guidance. He gets out and about. Um, he sets a good example. He has no regrets. If he had to do it all over again, he would do it exactly the same way. Life is boring without taking risks. He admits he makes he made mistakes, but he feels like the mistakes that he made made him into a better person. He's confident, self-assured, forceful. He has good intentions above all else. And then the Eight of Swords is all about change, movement. This is frustration, having a bad attitude, being paralyzed by fear, not being able to see a way out, backed into a corner, feeling victimized, trapped, isolated, ignoring advice. And this is the card of Gemini. So we have Gemini here again. Okay. 
So, what's coming towards Taurus? What's going on in Taurus's future? What's going on in Taurus's future? Okay, so I have the Three of Cups, so there's friendship, there's celebrations, there's community, feasts, partying, emotional growth. What else is going on in Taurus's future? I have the Knight of Pentacles, so there's a time to put plans into action. Um, there's no fast way out, you need to keep focus, building your empire. Don't take foolish risks here. Don't work yourself to the bone. You need to get rest. Commit to something um, and follow it through. Why is the Three of Cups here for Taurus's future? Why is the Three of Cups here for Taurus's future? All right, so I see. Um, we have the devil reversed, and then we have okay. So we have death reversed, the devil reversed, and then we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So when the devil reverses, we have um, alignment being restored, freeing yourself being yourself again there's enlightenment there's changing your life standing in your power there could have been a divorce you're escaping abuse you're walking away enough is enough you have freedom you're conquering you're reforming and you're overcoming temptation uh, the two of pentacles in reverse is um, being disorganized this is the card of capricorn um, both of these are Capricorn energy, so we could be dealing with a Capricorn or just that I achieve energy. That's what Capricorn stands for, I achieve. He's very ambitious, very reliable, disciplined. Um, he's a social climber. He, he's status oriented. So we have two cards of Capricorn side by side, then we have Scorpio. So this is a very passionate energy and this is death in the reverse so there's a refusal to accept change here there's a refusal to move on there's stagnation there's a loss of faith there's being stuck in the past change is actually feared with this card there's resisting change um stuck in something too afraid for tomorrow uh, someone from the past could have resurfaced with this card it could have been a capricorn or a scorpio um, moving it, you're moving out of a time of mourning and you're moving into celebrations. Celebrate good times, come on! Celebrate good times, come on! So, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? We're gonna have a celebration. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is here because of a Gemini. Uh, there's the lovers. So, this is self-love the magic of falling in love there's attraction there's a sexual development there's a sexual attraction any relationship um, deciding making decisions examining both sides quality communication um, being open and honest safe to move forward someone's interested in you You're heading towards the past, but looking towards the future here. Well, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for joining me. And we're going to be talking about Virgo. So hi, Virgo. Welcome to your reading, Virgo. All right, so what's going on with the Virgo? What is on Virgo's mind? What is on Virgo's mind? Okay, so I have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So what's on your mind is you're taking on too much. There's a lack of direction. Um, this is the card of Sagittarius. You're feeling burdened. You, you just have too much on your plate right now. What does uh, 
Virgo not want to think about? What does Virgo not So Virgo, you don't want to think about divorce. You don't want to think about legal problems. You don't want to think about inequality. You don't want to think about things going against you. You don't want to think about feeling victimized. You don't want to blame others. You don't want arguments. You don't want to be falsely accused. You don't want to be uh, corrupt. What is present, or you don't want to think about a Libra, because that's the card of Libra. What is presently affecting Virgo? What is presently affecting Virgo? What is presently affecting Virgo? All right, presently the Three of Wands. Um, so presently you're turning your back on the past. You're looking towards the future. You're uh, taking action to make decisions. You're leading the way. Your efforts have paid off here. And there's excitement about a relationship and there's an adventure. This is the card of Aries. Um, so this is I am me. It's being independent, being very daring, being an explorer, being courageous, and um, being a little temperamental, but getting things done. So in the past, we had there was confusion, chaos, a lack of clarity. What else in the past is affecting Virgo's present? What else in the past is affecting Virgo's present? Right, so I have the two of wands and all of these cards that fell they didn't want to come out so I have the two of wands so in the past there is decisions about movement decisions about a course of action that you need to take should I stay should I go there's a need for excitement something was holding you back this is being bored and discontent. Again, this is the card of Aries. So what's going on in Virgo's future? All right, so I have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's death, there's selfishness, there's one-sided charity. That's the card of Taurus. What else is going on in Virgo's future? What else is going on in Virgo's future? Right, so I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, so there's a seducer. Um, there's disappointment in love. There's gossip. There's breakups. Uh, there's bad news. Withdrawal. Obsession. There could be a charmer. Um, being emotionally vulnerable. Letting yourself go. Being stuck in the past. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? All right, so the Page of Swords in the reverse. So the uh, Six of Pentacles is here, and there's a lot of conflict with the Page of Swords in the reverse. Um, this is malicious gossip. This is um, a blaming other people. So he did this, he did that. This is being spiteful. This is being vindictive. This is the spy card. So somebody's spying on you or you're spying on somebody else. This is arguments. This is slander, backstabbing, being paranoid. This is psychological abuse. So there's debt and one-sided charity here because of psychological abuse and um malicious gossip and blaming others so why is the page of cups here why is the page of cups here okay so the page of swords in the upright um so when the page of swords is because that was the page of swords in the reverse this is the page of swords in the upright so that's adding extra emphasis to this swords are all about change so this is ushering in the winds of change this is action ideas motion communication, um, always moving, unpredictable. This is stories, storyteller, being hard to read, detached, um, open-minded. The Page of Swords 
in the upright is um, having your head in the clouds, daydreaming. There's a lot on your mind, a lot to think about. Um, forming a workable plan, uh, writing down your thoughts, thinking before you speak, finding logical solutions, owning up to your mistakes, being quit-witted. There's mental challenges here. There's freedom of speech, being diplomatic. Um, be a negotiator, a communicator, um, but also being on guard. All right, Virgo. Uh, that was your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember that the future is fluid and you can change it. That's why you get a tarot reading. So if you don't like it, you can make changes so that doesn't happen. Thank you again for joining me, Virgo.